It's 6.45 a.m. and we're up at the Elephant's Trunk Flea Market in New Milford, Connecticut. Um, it's about a eight hour drive from Richmond, but I have attended this flea market since I was a teen because I grew up in Newtown, Connecticut, which is just a couple towns over from here. Um, the lines have begun forming. It's a beautiful morning. People talk about how it's gonna be hotter later, but right now it's in the 60s, so it's a beautiful, comfortable morning to, to shop and poke around. This is the town center of New Milford, Connecticut. It is a quintessential New England town with a central green in the middle around which you can park. And there are stores and homes, offices, law offices, architectural offices. And um, there's the town hall there. And there's churches up all along around this beautiful town square. The um, film crew from Flea Market Flip has just arrived also. They've just been traipsing across with their equipment. So they're taking advantage of the pretty day to film an episode as well. Well, I've just been over here at one of the filming spots for Flea Market Flip and you can see some of the footage that I just took. Um, this is one of several setups that they've got at the elephant's trunk this morning. Hi everybody, I'm Lara Spencer. Welcome to Flea Market Flip. Today we're at the elephant's trunk flea market here in New Milford, Connecticut. And we've got two teams who are not afraid to dig for diamonds in the rock. This is one of my favorites. So don't blow. We want you to take a piece that doesn't necessarily have Hollywood Regency in it when you find it. We want you guys to instill that feeling of Hollywood's golden age. Got it? Got it. You guys each have five hundred dollars. You have your flip list. We have one hour on the clock. Ready? Set? Go find it! So today I found some unusual things. This lamp, it's a um, studio lamp and it's adjustable. I have it short so I can get it in the car, but I loved several things about it. One of which was the, is the um, name that's still visible somewhat on the back of the shade and it will raise up pretty high. So it'll be a great floor lamp. I also got a beautiful, beautiful wool blanket. Um, it's hard to find bed, wool bed blankets. You see throws, but you don't often see um, bed blankets. That will fit a twin. Great fan. I don't know if you can see the blue color of the base. I'm going to kind of cover it up. It's a beautiful blue color under there. And it works. And a cool milk box. The logo of which you can't see, it's kind of shady but it's got the embossed logo from the dairy, One Oak Dairy. Found some great pennants for more pillows and this really cool cooler, which um, I'll make into something for the spring. And then I found this Vera tablecloth in kind of fall colors. She's got such distinctive patterns on her linens and they're just um, iconic from that era of the late 60s. And this corn farmer's chart that rolls down, I've got it kind of rolled up so I'm about to again put it in the car, but um, I think it'd be great for the farmhouse look. It's just black and white, crisp, and um, it's just really, really graphic and dramatic for a big wall. So my trip to the elephant's trunk flea has come to a close. Um, it was a su successful day for me. It was a long drive, but um, it's just the only true old-fashioned flea market that I know of um, around anymore. Um, so I was glad to come and I was glad to find the things I did and I can't wait to fix them up and do them up and um, have them ready for sale at Chartreuse for this fall.